Ever heard someone say, he's such an alpha, and wondered what it means? We're diving into the world of male archetypes, sigma versus alpha males. Get ready to spill the tea because we're breaking down seven key differences between these two. First up, let's talk about the social hierarchy. In any social setting, there are different roles and positions that people naturally fall into. This hierarchy can be seen in various environments, from schools to workplaces, and even in social gatherings. Understanding where individuals stand in this hierarchy can give us insight into their behavior and interactions. Alphas are typically seen at the top, commanding attention like the popular kids in school. They are often the leaders, the ones who take charge and set the tone for the group. Their confidence and assertiveness make them natural leaders, and they thrive in social situations where they can be the center of attention. Alphas are usually outgoing, charismatic, and have a strong presence that draws people to them. Sigmas, on the other hand, march to the beat of their own drum. They don't conform to the traditional social hierarchy and prefer to carve out their own path. Sigmas are independent and self-reliant, often choosing to operate outside of the established social structures. They value their freedom and autonomy, and this sets them apart from the more conventional roles in the social hierarchy. They're the mysterious, brooding artists of the social scene. Sigmas have a unique allure that comes from their enigmatic and often introspective nature. They are not always easy to understand, and this adds to their mystique. People are drawn to their depth and complexity, finding their unconventional approach to life intriguing and refreshing. Sigmas aren't always leading the pack, but are still influential. Their influence is subtle but powerful, often shaping the dynamics of a group without overtly taking control. They have a way of making their presence felt without needing to be in the spotlight. This quiet influence can be just as impactful, if not more so, than the more obvious leadership of the alphas. They draw people in with their enigmatic vibes. Sigmas have a charm that is different from the overt charisma of alphas. It's a more understated, yet equally compelling, presence that captivates those around them. Their ability to remain somewhat aloof while still being engaging makes them fascinating to others. They don't need to be the center of attention to be noticed. Sigmas are comfortable in their own skin and don't seek validation from others. This self-assuredness allows them to stand out in a crowd without trying too hard. Their confidence is quiet but undeniable, and it speaks volumes about their inner strength and self-belief. They have this quiet confidence that speaks volumes. It's a confidence that comes from knowing who they are and being comfortable with it. This quiet confidence is often reflected in their body language, which is relaxed yet assured. It's a powerful trait that can inspire respect and admiration from those around them. In the end, both alphas and sigmas have their own unique strengths and ways of navigating the social hierarchy, each bringing something valuable to the table. Let's talk about leadership. Alphas are known for their direct, assertive style. Picture a CEO giving a powerful presentation or a captain rallying their team. Sigmas lead by example, inspiring others with their knowledge and competence. They're naturally followed because they're that good at what they do. An alpha might be the CEO giving the big presentation, but the sigma is the silent genius behind the scenes. They're both leaders, but in their own unique ways. How do these guys act in social situations? Alphas are usually the life of the party, thriving in social settings. Sigmas are more selective with their social battery. They prefer deep conversations with a small group of close friends. Imagine a coffee shop. An alpha chats up the barista while a sigma is engrossed in a book, headphones on, both perfectly content. Independence is key. Alphas seek validation and admiration from others. Sigmas value inner validation, trusting their gut and making decisions based on their own values. They're not afraid to stand out or go against the grain. In a group project, an alpha might take charge to impress, while a sigma prefers to work independently, focusing on producing their best work. Both valid approaches. Let's talk about conflict. Alphas address issues head on, unafraid of confrontation. Sigmas are more strategic, analyzing their options and choosing the most calculated course of action. They prefer to resolve conflict peacefully and intelligently. Imagine a disagreement between friends. An alpha clears the air immediately, while a sigma waits for things to cool down and approaches the situation calmly. Both aim for resolution, but in different ways. How do these guys handle risk? 
Alphas are bold and willing to take risks, embracing the YOLO mentality. Sigmas are more calculated, assessing situations and making decisions based on logic. They're not afraid of taking risks, but prefer informed decisions. Imagine an opportunity to invest in a new business venture. An alpha jumps on board, excited by potential rewards, while a sigma carefully considers all angles. Both approaches have their merits. What makes these guys tick? Alphas are driven by external factors like recognition and status. They thrive on competition and the desire to be the best. Sigmas are driven by internal factors like personal growth and self-discovery. They're more focused on living a meaningful life that aligns with their values. Imagine two guys learning a new skill. An alpha is motivated by the challenge, while a sigma enjoys the journey of self-improvement. Both have unique motivations. So, there you have it. Seven key differences between alpha and sigma males. Remember, these are just archetypes, and real people are more complex. Most guys probably have a mix of both alpha and sigma traits. What do you think? Do you identify more with the alpha or sigma archetype? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.